The nature of science is that it's uh, very collaborative. Um, it's becoming more so. And so students bring their perspective and I have mine and somewhere in between we meet. And I think that's the really rewarding part of it. My name is Matt Beckman. I teach biology here at Augsburg College and I focus on genetics development and introductory biology. This summer there are four students in the lab and they each have uh, sort of an independent project but it all ties into one larger theme. Uh, we are interested in the development of the water flea, Daphne Magna, and in particular we're interested in how it develops the ability to swim. So the, the use of model organisms to study human diseases has kind of a, a long history and I think that maybe the general public looks at this and, and asks the question, why would you want to study a fruit fly or a water flea in order to understand how human disease works? And I think the short answer to that is that uh, there are uh, shared features that may not be evident and those are in the genes. So the Daphnia genome has many genes that are similar to human genes. Um, we're using it to study the birth and the death of a specific type of nerve cell, a dopamine neuron. And dopamine neurons are the neurons that uh, are damaged in Parkinson's disease. So, you know, there's, there's that association. Um, I wouldn't claim that we will discover uh, a cure for Parkinson's disease by studying Daphnia, but the goal is to understand better the fundamental principles of how dopamine cells are born and how they can be damaged. And if we can understand that in a simple system, then the hope is that we can better understand how it uh, happens in more complex systems like humans.